In this video I'm going to demonstrate using Post-Trans to manipulate SageLine 50 bill of material data. First we're going to extract some BOM data and then we're going to amend those bill of material components, add some subcomponents and then re-import the new and changed data back into SageLine 50. Of course Post-Trans can also post nominal journals, stock adjustments, invoices, sales quotes, purchase orders and many and many others and obviously we can use it to manage bill of materials but also price lists and other static data. It's quite feature rich in that it has in-cell searching for looking up stock codes for subcomponents etc and validates the data on importation. Today I'm going to be demonstrating it with SageLine 50 but the same functionality is available for SageLine 200. So let's see the software in action. Here I am in Excel 2013, but uh, Post-Trans is uh, compatible with any copy of Excel since 2000. I'm just going to select the Post-Trans toolbar here, which is for Sage, and we're just going to go to the Help menu and pull up a previous example. The Help menu is always context-sensitive help at the top here, plus many examples of importation down here, including transactions. Just double-click on Bill of Materials. You can see here this has opened a ready-made template uh, we have a series of tags in the first row, which tell Post-Trans what data we're going to push and pull into the columns in Excel. So I'm going to click on the Extract button to extract all the bill of materials from my SageLine 50. So you can see that's just written all that. So there we have here um, the parent code. So this is the bill of materials here, and you can see the first item's bolded. Um, sorry, this is the bill of materials for PC001, uh, and then we have the quantity. So if we want to edit that, we can just simply put a 3 and a 4 in there. And maybe we want to remove this stock code here. We can see we have a delete column here, and if we just simply put an X in there, that will take that out of that bill of materials. So there we've just changed two quantities and deleted a line. Now I'd like to insert an extra item into this PCO2 and of course it would need the parent code so let's put in PCO2 now that's using my in-cell searching I just type PC and now we've filled that in of course we could have just copied it down using standard Excel functionality now so I, I can't remember the stock code here so I know I want to uh, put a hard disk in so I'm just going to press space and type H-A-R-D for hard and tab away. And now that's found all stock items with the word hard in. Um, so let's just select one of those and we're gonna add just one of those to the build. So now if I just wanna put that into SageLine 50, I just simply press the import button. You see it says it's updated uh, uh, two records, which is the two bill of materials. So we can see there on the left, it only updated what we had actually changed. And just to prove that, I think we've Remember that we've deleted this video one. Let's just extract all that data again. And I believe now if we go to the top, the video one has disappeared. And there's the extra hard drive we added to that bill of materials. So you can see how simple it is to uh, manipulate bill of materials using Post-Trans and Microsoft Excel. If you're watching this video from YouTube, to go to our website, simply click on the link in the description below. If you're already on our website, you can scroll down slightly and below this video you'll probably see some related links to associated articles. Let's just show you some of the resources on the website. Switch over, here's the home page. You can see here we have a series of menus at the top and if you allow them to expand, you can see there all the different types of importation or extraction you can use with Post Trans and Sage and also the transactions you can post. But importantly, there's a training section here. If we go to the training section, that describes in detail how to alter a Post-Trans template using the tags that we briefly discussed in the demonstration. Also on the website is a blog which you can subscribe to, and I thoroughly recommend that, so then you can learn of new functionality and uses of Post-Trans. Because each of these articles maybe hones in on a particular function, a particular tag, or a particular way of using the product to do a particular um, job. For instance, expanding bill of materials on an order, code searching, protecting templates, importing CSV files, pricing, managing VAT, order currency, you name it, it's all in there. Uh, and that is easily accessible from the software itself. So if I switch back to a template, and this one's an order template, and I've just got the 
tag window open here on the right but you'll see as I scroll down this one here um, TL description which is the actual product description actually has a blog article so clicking on there takes me to that blog article and explains in great detail the implications of using that tag and the many different options maybe in system setups alters and behavior of that tag so hopefully that will help also we have uh, the help button itself on the button bar which takes you to kind of a context sensitive help um, and also takes you to the training page which explains how to manipulate and alter that template and in addition to all that of course we have these blue help buttons here which are easily accessible they're also in the setup windows within post trans so again that takes you to a blog article for instance this one's about making the cursor follow a certain path that will then take you to that article and explain how you customize that individual functionality so there i hope you've seen um, many different functions and um, online resources that we provided you to enable you to customize post trans to create a template to uh, help you or your customers so i uh, thank you very much for watching this video